The final report of the National Inquiry into Missing and Murdered Indigenous Women and Girls was given to Prime Minister Trudeau with much fanfare in June 2019. The lengthy report contains 231 calls to justice, but critics say not enough has happened since then, and they lay the blame squarely at the Trudeau government's feet. One of the government's fiercest critics is the inquiry's former chief commissioner. The federal government has fallen flat on its face. We don't have an implementation plan. Uh, there hasn't been any sort of cohesive statement on the part of the federal government about what it plans to do. Uh, there's no looking forward. Uh, if there is, if there is an implementation plan, I don't know about it and they're keeping it quiet but they have quite literally fallen flat on their face in terms of their responses. In response, the Crown Indigenous Relations Minister says there's always room for improvement and instead chose to focus on the government's $2 billion pathway program. For me, that's a signal that we need to do better um, and look at what we've done critically. Uh, there, there's no denying that um, the pathway is very significant. It was co-developed. Um, it is it's trauma-informed, but it's also one that... Um, it's also one that isn't perfect, and I think we have to be mature enough to acknowledge that. NDP MP Leah Gazan questioned Miller about the National Action Plan during Monday's question period. This government needs to immediately stop political sound bites and instead offer meaningful solution, Mr. Speaker. When will this government implement the calls for justice and stop the genocide? But Miller's answer was short on specifics of if and when an action plan is forthcoming. This is something that we say is a whole of government, but implies every minister in our cabinet and, and, frankly, everyone in this House to make sure that we're living up to our goals and the calls for justice, which are vast in nature, but first and foremost have to be trauma-informed and focused on those who are still suffering in silence. Monday is also the 31st anniversary of the Women's Memorial March in Vancouver. Fraser Needham, APTN National News, Ottawa.